Yo guys, what's up? It is Nate Agan from Agan Visuals, and I'm finally bringing you a new voice tutorial for smooth spin transitions. So, I've been getting a lot of requests recently to bring back the voice tutorials, uh, probably to explain more in depth, and I got a couple requests on how to do a spin transition because this is a really popular transition I've seen and a lot of YouTuber videos like vacation videos for some reason they look awesome though uh, a lot of Instagram videos and yeah so what we're gonna do is uh, take your two clips that you really want to transition between um, these two clips I'm using are like really stupid to do spin transitions on but I mean you'll get the idea of it so uh, if you watch the zoom transition tutorials, it's sort of like that, but adding rotation, except for we're going to have it zoom in a little bit slower. So we're going to start off with like the last frame of the first clip, and we're going to go back four. So one, two, three, four, and then we're going to go back three. So on this middle keyframe, you want to put like uh, somewhere between 110 and 120. I feel like I might have to do 110. And then on the last scale, do something like between 190 and 240. So you really get that, ro like the space to rotate. So that's a pretty, oh, I forgot to delete that. It's a pretty uh, slow zoom. So that might have to be fixed. Yeah, let's fix that. Let's bump this up to 240. Alright, so go to the second clip. And then you want to do the same thing, but the opposite way so make a keyframe on the first frame go out four and then three more so I might actually have to change that <laughs> but so yes yeah, left uh, start it at like somewhere between 160 and 200 and then make the middle keyframe um, somewhere between one 20 and 130 to kind of have it zoom out and then you want to make this last keyframe like this last keyframe where where you put it will control the speed of the zoom but you got to be careful because you got to make sure like it looks smooth because obviously it's changing the speeds of the scaling that looks pretty good all right so now what you want to do is you want to go to the first clip and then you want to make sure you toggle animation on rotation we'll start off with the first clip <clears throat> make a keyframe keep it zero and on the second keyframe pretty much every keyframe you just want to rotate it and as much as you can without seeing these little you know the black background being exposed because that looks really bad go to the next frame when you scale it really high the perk to that is that you can like pretty much rotate it all, all around because it's so zoomed in. Um, this takes some playing around because each edit has a different pace so obviously the keyframes will look different and the numbers you use. There we go, that's a good, that's a good spin. And then on the second clip you want to do the same thing but the opposite way. So what you'll do is you want to start it off in the negative sort of where you might have done it but make sure you don't see black edges so like here's like the maximum I can do for this clip and then turn it for the next one and then set it zero and then boom now one thing you might notice if you look really carefully is I think black edges show yeah right there so a lot of times you will have to pay attention and make sure you don't ex uh, show these show black on the edges and you have to go back and like kind of make new keyframes and fix it but don't worry because this won't mess with the animation as long as you just do uh, single keyframes now as you can see this kind of looks boring there's like it's kind of just bland so what we're gonna do to make it more smooth looking and just create the illusion of it spinning around completely is we're gonna go look up just type in blur or you can go to blur Video effects, blur and sharpen. We'll go take the directional, directional blur. Why did I say it like that? I used to say directional. And then put on both clips. Uh, so we'll start off with the blur length. So you kind of match it up with the other keyframes. Actually, no. Just make sure it's like between 10 and 20. 
or 10 and 30 on some part. Oh, look at that. You can see uh, another black edge. And another one, yeah. I mean, this happens, like, once you practice it more, obviously I haven't, I haven't done this enough, apparently, because I'm getting mistakes on it, but... So yeah, we'll add the blur, and you can see it sort of... It kind of makes it so you can't see the cut. It doesn't, like, abruptly cut so much. So then we'll add, like, the same blur length that we had from the last part and make it zero when it stops scaling. It's so, like, right here. So now we have this. That looks a lot better. Now, if you really want to get crazy, and sometimes this looks a lot better, I don't know if it will look good on these clips, but we can add, change the direction number. So we'll start here and we'll change it at the last keyframe. And we'll kind of just like spin it around a little bit, a couple of degrees, like 40 maybe. And then, oh, I already have it there. And on this one, we'll start off in the negative angle and then we'll have it come back to zero on the last keyframe so that looks really smooth in my opinion uh, the smooth out at the end looks kind of rough on this but if you mess around with the placement of the keyframes I'm sure you guys will get it like I said each edit is different at its own pacing so it's impossible to really teach you how to copy it you just gotta like learn to understand it and it's so easy from there on so if this tutorial helped you please leave a like and a comment Leaving a like actually helps me so much, so please do that. Also, if you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe. I'm going to be trying really hard to put out more tutorials this time. I always say that, but this time it's going to happen. Also, I'm coming out with behind the scenes videos soon of kind of bigger projects like working on, you know, with Justin Stone videos, we'll show behind the scenes with that. Then, you know, if you're a fan of Justin Stone, you'll get to see more of him too. Also, probably making one for Tobilla, which will be awesome. And just a bunch of projects that I'm going to do. So, it'll be awesome. And also, the project trailer that I have out on my channel. If you have clips and you're a videographer and you want to submit to it, please email me. My email is in the description somewhere or on my, on my channel's description. You'll find it somewhere. And yeah, please send clips because we need a little bit more clips for that. And it's going to be really epic. So yeah, have a good one.